Ultimate Recon Gaming. Erg. Hey guys, it's Johnny here with the Ultimate Recon Gaming portion of this channel, and we're playing Civilization Five. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so if it if you see this thing up top, I don't really see it at all. Um, like I said, my things will go to the bottom of the arrow. That's how much I see of the thing. I don't even see the code numbers down here. Um, but it's the only option I can take is 1287, 1280 by 720. Um, and I can't go full screen. And I have to play Direct 9. So it's kind of stupid, to be honest. But it is what it is. <coughs> Anyways. So, let's go ahead and set up. We're going to make a total dictarian where it's uh, you fight to the end. Um, we're going to go Warlord, and um, I'm going to be I did choose the right stuff, right? Yes, okay. Let's see. Um... I don't really hear about influence. Let's go with this Comet Street bonus right there, man. Um, percent when fighting city state units or attacking a city state itself, all mounted units have plus one. Mongolia is the way to go, man, for this. But. We're going to do all land military units plus one site, fifty percent discount when purchasing tiles. Um, since I'm American, I'm going to go with America. Um, but, uh, maybe. Yes. I didn't see Gandhi. Oh, there's Gandhi. Unhappiness from number of cities doubled. Unhappiness from number of citizens halved. <coughs> no, I'll just go with America. A map type. Um, let's, uh, I don't want to go too much water. What's additional maps? Um, let's go balance map design for two players, small continents, um, Let's go with um what? I'm gonna play four corners. Yep. And we're gonna go huge, because I like huge. And uh a warlord we already said this. Game pace, um, Let's go with standard because I'm playing. I'm playing with all um, AI, so we don't want any teams, guys. Um, everyone's on their own. That's kind of the plan. No teams. Is there a way to just say no teams? Period. No. Okay. Oh gosh, it's going to take a while to set up. Six, seven, oh, eight. Honestly, I honestly like four better than five, uh, only because there's more customizations in four than there is in five. And you can play like with like 22 people instead of like whatever, 12. I guess, in this case. Okay. And I can't even see what those say. I think it says back, add players. Add AI players. Can I add another one? Oh, yeah. Who do we not have? Let's 
We can do it, dude. Oh, we don't want any repeats though either. So, uh, to re prevent re repeats, we're going to go straight down. Um, Augustus, Bismarck, Catherine. After Catherine is Darius. After Darius is Elizabeth. After Elizabeth is Gandhi. After Gandhi is Genghis Khan. After Genghis Khan is Harun al Rashid. After Harun al Rashid is Hiawatha. I think I probably pronounced it right. After Hiawatha is Montezuma. Montezuma. After Montezuma is Napoleon. After Napoleon is Onabonaga. Adonabonaga. I think that's how you pronounce that. After that one, uh, Ramanis. Ramses. Ramses the second. Ramanis. Ramses. And then Raka. Ram. Rankam Hang. Correct me. <laughs> and then Suyamon. Okay. Perfect. Eight. Domination is the only way to win. Complete kills, so you must completely kill out the entire team. Um, we do have Barbarians as well, so there'll be 19 teams technically. Um, players are not allowed to burn cities down after capturing them. Yes. One city ch uh, challenge. Human players are only ever allowed to build or own one city. No. Um, no animations are played when units move. The rate at which barbarians spawn is greatly increased. Instead of acting as they normally do, a random personality will be picked for each AI, making the game more interesting or intriguing or whatever. No. Um, we'll go full city states 28. Um, we'll start back all the way for. Five billion years ago. Um, temperate. Rainfall normal. Strategic balance. Yes. Yeah. Um, upper zones. Oceans. <clears throat> Team setting. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. We don't have any actual teams together, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. No, 19, 20, just 18. Okay, start game. Here you go. Um, what we'll normally do is we'll do 30 minute episodes, but this one will be about 45, 50, just because it's the first one. <coughs> We got a lot of wheat field. Oh gosh. Maybe. 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 Let's do this. Uh it's on here. Okay, you know what, let's uh, move them to here, it'll delay us a little bit, but I feel as if a delay might be good, I'm going for the runes over here, but for this way we can grab the fur, food, and wood, um, that's why I prefer to have. <coughs> <coughs> So it's going to delay, like I said, it's going to delay us a lot. So, 4000 BC. I found a city. You need to find... Uh, yes, I know. Thank you. 
Um, thanks for information, Dorm. Uh, uh, thank you. I will be doing that eventually. I have a plan. Man. Found a city here. And uh, let them move here. Let's pick a research. Um, um, let's see. Let's go with animals. And uh, let's get a worker. Those are always good. We got gold down here. Wow. Maybe we should start purchasing tiles out to here. Can I do that already? Maybe. Maybe not. Man. You received 20 culture. Sweet. Oh, shoot. We already found barbarians. Let's go deal with them. Why not? Forget how to... Uh... Can't buy a tower right now. Because I don't think we have any... Yeah, we don't have enough gold. We may adopt a policy. So... Tradition is best for small empires. Adopting tradition greatly increases the rate of border expansion in cities and also grants three culture in the capital. Adapting all pol all policies in this tradition tree will grant 15% gr uh, food growth and two food in each city. Um, liberty is the best for civilizations with which desire rapid expansion. Adopting liberty will provide one culture in, a, in every city. Adopting a policy in the liberty tree will grant a free great person of your choice near the capital. Ooh. Honor improves the effectiveness of one's army in a variety of ways. Adapting honor gives a 25% bonus combat bonus versus barbarians. And notifications will be provided when new barbarian encampments spawn, revealed, gain culture for the empire from each barbarian killed. I'm going to go with Liberty. Because it's all about getting more cities. This one sounded good too, but at, at first. But then it's like, okay, never mind. That sounded better. Um, It's down here. I have to actually look at the uh, record screen to do that. Next. Let's attack. Took six damage. Both of us took six damage. The barbarians are probably going to hit back. <coughs> Maybe. Let's fortify. Let's see if they'll fortify. Their group. I can't tell. I think we have more health now. Yeah, they're not fortifying. I prefer to stay small in an area. I feel like I'm in the bottom corner. Just the way the map's set up. A bottom right. No, bottom left. In the bottom left corner. Or is it because... Yeah, no, it's because I haven't discovered anything. The map is bigger than what's showing right now over here. So... Might as well because I haven't actually explored out. And nine turns, eight turns we'll get a worker, nine turns we'll expand. And typically when you expand, it goes completely around your base. So. So five, eight, five, seven, and eight. Remember when I was playing this against, uh, well, with... We decided to team up, but we all the audio is kind of started getting messed up, and everything else started getting messed up. We never actually started replaying this game again. Thirty gold from that, but we never started replaying the game again. There's somebody over here. We never started replaying, but we got pretty good. Um, he played England, and I played um, America, and it was just a lot of lag and everything. Um, Hill instantly sounds nice, but we're not that far. Uh, 20 combat strength when fighting in rough terrains, hills, forests, and jungles. Combat strength when fighting in open terrains. 
No hills, forests, or jungles. Let's go open. And uh, let's go forward. City state. You're the first great empire they have met, so they provided you a gift of 30 gold. If you wish to speak to Vienna, again, you may click on their city. They're neutral. Okay. Well, I don't have really anything for you. So, nothing's going to happen right now. Thank you. Let's see how the map is exploring. I said I thought it was at the bottom right, but actually it looks like more like the top right. I'm at just the way it's forming. We'll find out eventually. Um, I don't really want to pass through them. Let's go north. See if we can go any more north. But those are my only troops, so. All right, let's get a new research. And um, <coughs> <coughs> what I found is that archery is always good to have. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get archery quick. Um, this way I can keep a soldiers of arch, uh, archery soldiers, soldiers in my town. Hi, they found us. Goodbye, you're friendly. Where'd you find me? Oh, you came, you're south of me. Um, but see, oh, we expanded a little bit already. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and fortify. But, uh, thing is, if I get archers here, I can at least get, like, a two or three range out on people. And plus the city gets range too, I think. If I remember right. But this is also number five, so it's a little bit weird. Um, okay, I know there's a way to just make you do whatever. Or the unit to remain inactive while the player rises. New orders. Automatic. There we go. Um... Let's go ahead and work on the monument. Speeds the training of settlers by 50%. The improvement construction rate increased by 25% and a worker appears near the capital. I wish I would have known that. Forget it. That would have been better to have sooner. But guess not right now. Okay. We did get a free settler now, so let's go ahead and go uh, recommended there. Um, there's horses over there. Honestly, I want to go south. Let's go here for now. And see what we have. We're not going to build there. <coughs> <coughs> but I'm thinking go a little bit more south down here. Like check out over here. And I might actually build here. Who the heck are you? How are you doing? Where's your animation? They usually move. I think since I'm playing in Direct 9X, it's not moving. Bye. I have no idea what you just said, dude, because it wasn't English. I prefer to have the gold oh, sugar snap snips. We're screwed. Hey, come pile the barbarians for me. Shoot. I knew it was coming, dude. Going south, boy. Going south. Try to get there as fast as I can. It's always the worst when you find a uh, barbarian in the middle of nowhere, man. And so if I'm not fast enough, 
And these guys killed the barbarians or whatever. They could take the uh, citizens, the settlers. But I also need to find them, man. So I don't know if they went back to the city or not. Yep, so your stuff does have... Your city does have a defense line. Man, these barbarians are freaking crazy today, man. I don't know if they killed out my settlers or if they just took them. What? Well, they're ready to move at face, so it doesn't really matter. So, in reality, there's 18 people, 18 nations, 19, and then the barbarians. So, 18, and, uh, nine, or 18 people, one barbarian, all the barbarians, whoever that is. And then, of course, 28 city states. That's a lot of stuff. Why is that? Uh, 46 plus. It's each barbarian town is independent. I'm choosing their settler real quick. And, uh, let's go mining. Because we got the stuff over here we can start getting that, man. Yep, they have my people. I'll go archery next. Archers next, dude. Natural wonder found. Natural wonder is discovered. Wow. I want my people back. Who's these people? Wasn't the first people to find them, but that's a city state because they're black and yellow. Ooh. I'm taking more damage than they I did even trying to. And man. I'm in fourth right now. Great. Oh gosh. Fortify, fortify, fortify. Um, I think I actually gonna settle here. Because of the wheat and the gold. Maybe it's a, a, yeah, I'm gonna settle here. Because the wood the stone stone and the food yes we have requesting assistance against them uh, if i can tell me where they're at and i'll go get them i need some soldiers man but see right now like i said we're going for total domination but <coughs> excuse me we're going for total domination, but sometimes you got to build up to go for total domination. So that means making allies and whatever else. And since I'm fortifying, not only am I healing, but am I actually able to defense my, myself more? That's why I pretty much murked the crap out of the barbarians that are not even dead yet. But these are more aggressive barbarians, so yeah, man. Yeah. 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 I'm going to have him buy that one. I want to get... Ooh. Do it. Turn the map. See what I just did? I moved myself all the way over here. Because I'm actually going to go over here for the next city. My bots, that's 70. That's not, that's worth it, man. I mean, look at that. We just got a gold mine. That's going to be nothing eventually, man. Son of a gun. Of course they do that to me. Unfortify. Plus one production in every city and plus five percent production in cities by construction. Let's go ahead and just grab this. 
and there, okay. And uh, you, this, you. Um, bronze. I think on my next city is going to go this direction to kind of get over here. Would you stop? Goodness gracious. OMG. Get my archer. Okay. That's just getting ridiculous, man. Um... Let's start moving you towards your area. And you go up here. Let's get our people back. I can't tell you to move next yet. Don't you dare touch me. Let us plan this plant the seeds of our bright virgin by making a decoration of friendship with the world white to the world. What would what say you? Um yeah, let's do that. Right now. We'll see how that turns out eventually, man. Don't you dare touch my people. But you did leave your nation wide open, man. But you also took my workers. Get back to work. Next. I want my workers back. Jerks. They're long gone. Dang, dude. They're right there. <clears throat> Question it. Oh my gosh. It's ridiculous, man. Don't you dare touch my saddlers, man. That's what I thought. Our workers are long gone that way. That means someone else is going to finally grab them. Dang damn it, dude. Let's work on um, Warrior. Neutral. Okay, later, dude. Hey, uh, Rome, you mind giving my people back? Okay, you fortify. Let's send you guys. Let's see how that's a good area. We'll improve happiness. That's well, too close to our people. I was actually thinking up here, but I want to see how big the tundra is, or man. Um, make an arrow warrior. We need warriors bad. Alright, you guys garrison the city. Next. Next. Being on such good terms, I couldn't help but notice that you've become friends with Arabia. I've done the same. Perhaps to make shift alliance will lead to great things in the future. <coughs> That's weird. Okay. Ah, oh, son of a gun. It's not even that good of a place. 
Okay. Um, how about we go here? That's where we'll fortify. Actually, let's go there by the river. And uh, let's go ahead and go for iron. That's a big jump, but going for big jumps like that, it decreases like everything else by like, if you go for like a big 50 jump, it decreases everything by like, like 80%. It's really weird. We're actually going to go here. And this is where we're going to fortify in our next city. Boston. All right, so you guys are going up here. And wow, we already got stuff to make the next stuff. Okay. Oh, buildings. Let's go look at that. Let's work on barracks. Yes. And you guys. I need a scout. You guys work on the scout. We'll figure it out from there, man. Man. I need to send somebody out there running around, dude. What's this? Some people are in the classical era. We're falling behind, dude. Great. Roman Arabia just signed a research agreement. All right. Let's go uh, here. Okay. Um, we're not the first people. But they do have cotton. Good. My workers are still alive. They're long gone this way, so. I'll probably end up going that way here in a few. I just wanted to discover what was over there. Wow, another city state. <coughs> My bad. Okay, Granted Liberty has been built. Dang, dude. Congratulations, your citizens have been happy with your rule so that the Empire enters the Golden Age. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, gosh. We're getting mutilated, dude. Open borders. I believe it's our mutual interest to agree free passage between our two great empires. Okay, I'll do that. I'm fine with that. You better betray me, man. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Fourth to tenth. Some people got zero, though. This is my food, though. This is the well, most well-fed, so. And it's always different, if you haven't realized. Um... Oh, this is the new team. No wonder they weren't doing so good. Okay, let's... Oh, shoot. We're dead. There's archers. We need to start producing archers for these two cities. There's ensigns back here, dude. Wow. Okay. Having this furry city your own connected to the capital, minus 5% happiness from citizens in non-occupied cities. Each city you found will increase the culture cost of policies by 33% less than normal. Pretty in a golden age. Let's just do that. Next turn. Hey, get away. It's a warrior. We'll send him with this guy.
Um, we'll do nothing for this turn. We're going to try to keep them together. Choose production. We'll go archer. Of course you settle right there. But since you don't have any soldiers right there, I just take over. But you freaking take my freaking... <sighs> my incense. A unit was killed. Yeah, I know. I didn't have an option. I knew right away that they were going to die. A lot of people going to the class score already. Do nothing. Just for this turn. Man. 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 Plus, I don't think they have an extra movement, these guys. So, it may take them actually longer to get through, dude. Let's start with these guys. It's going to take them three to get there. Welcome, stranger. Hi. Got scouts, huh? We're just moving here. And, uh... You know what? We can't finish the building, so let's go for... Another scout. That works. Is that Arabia? Yeah. They have open borders, so. Um, explore. Well, I'm going to lose my scouts in no time. They went right towards the uh, archers. Idiots. Archer. Worry about the barracks next. Well, I guess I could have got the barracks there and put the archer through and over. Man, but oh well, dude. Oh well. It is what it is. Next turn. Songhai just made friends with their unmet player. They got gold too, dude. Dang, dude. Uh, plus one healed, plus one HP healed per turn outside of friendly territory. Um, visible range. Explore. Um, Spearman. We're almost with iron working, dude. Woo, and this is going to expand. We've got eight happiness. We've got two more. Turns of Golden Age, and you met Sydney. Sydney. Hey there. Okay, next turn. They're right by the barbarians, dude. I think the Roman and uh, Arabians took care of them, dude. Man. Ironworking. Now I'm in the classical. Not too far behind. Oh, look. It's not my settlers, but it's settlers. It beats my work. I do want my workers back, though. Pure is just now getting to that classical age as well. Let's go ahead and choose to face these guys down here. You go after the archers, and you go after the actual town. It's hard to find worthy friends in this world. I would like to take a friendship. Yes, let's do this. So Songhai and us are friends. Which is weird, because I usually partner with Roman and Greece, typically. So, I usually go Gandhi and pair with Roman and Greek and all the Indians and stuff. Hey, get away from my people. There's another barbarian village, so. Uh, request your assistance against evading barbarians. Will do. I see them right there, so it's not too far. 
just keep going. Just try to get away. You actually almost killed them. Don't let you dare do it, Romans. Don't dare to try to sneak in. I see what you're thinking about. Don't let you dare do it. It's ours. Well, it's actually probably yours. That's probably why you're here. <clears throat> but I'm going to take it. Um, all units and adjacent tiles heal 1 HP per turn. 25% defense against all ranged. Eliminates combat penalty for attacking from the sea or over a river. Um, we're not actually in open terrain right now. I prefer actually have the medic. Oh, son of a... That was my strongest unit. That was my strongest unit. Can't believe they just died. Forget the archers. Uh, Song highs. If it was Rome, I would have took it. Here's your unit. But I almost decided not to give it to them. Like I said, if it was Rome. Research agreements. A deal will work. Yes. So we just traded what he had for what I had. There's the Rome. Oh, shoot, the archers are hitting me. Who's over here? Archers, garrison, and uh, barracks. Almost got spearmen. They almost got archers. Oh, Persia just denounced somebody. Uh, target somebody. Unit promotion. Uh, combat strength. What's the uh, deal over here? Let's go with the uh, rough stuff. And go kill these guys out first. And, uh, Beric count still required to uh, New York, Boston, whichever one goes first. But, uh, New York is already on the making the way for it. <coughs> but, was going to make an air spearman. I read it. Cape Town, hi there. Um, I want to buy a tile. My next turn for this down here. The wheel. Now I'm going to make my way over here. Just keep running. Just get out of the way. Horseback riding, yes, please. Because guess what? Buy a tile. That works. Turn the map. I just got me some horses. We're getting pretty close to the end of this episode. Did you just kill my unit? Please tell me it was at least my scout. It's not nothing big. Watermill. Sounds good. Yes, it was my scout. Well, we're going to attack these guys first, and then we're going to mark the crap out of them. Boom. Archers, you're next. Boom. <coughs> 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 But we came off of here, which is kind of rough. I think it counted as desert, not whatever else, man. 
Okay, so the attack here won't kill me, but oh my gosh. Hey, look, there's my workers. Is that my actual workers, man? I need to fortify. But now I'm good at this terrain, too, so I get a little bit of an advantage, man. And plus, if I kill these guys out, these guys will like me. They're angry at me right now, but oh my gosh. He killed my spearmen. <sighs> Jerks. Yeah, and our fleet coming, though, so we're good. Under attack from what? Rain Barbarians, great. Song High is kind of pushing me away, but I got like 45 freaking... It's five city-states in my freaking way, dude. We're gonna go south. We're gonna go back to where we were. She's reduction. Be a swordsman now. Let's go ahead and get that. And we're actually gonna end this episode here, guys. So if you guys like this series, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. So Draco, thanks for watching. This is Ultimate Recon Gaming. Over. And out. <laughs>